Hey, this is Robbie. Welcome back to the Robbie Growing Team blog. Today's topic is uh, home inspections and the importance for getting them done. But before we get started, I want to remind everybody, if you're looking for a home, that perfect place, we've got everything that's out there on the market. Check us out, searchhomesinlafayette.com. If you're looking to get an idea of what your home is worth, check out www.mylafayettelahomevalue.com. So, uh, back to the topic. We're now currently under contract. You've got a buyer and seller that have agreed to terms and, and price. The next, the next step that would pop up is we would schedule a home inspection. So what we would do is hire a general home inspector as well as a termite inspector. General home inspector, we want to think of them kind of like a general practitioner. Their job is to look for symptoms to uh, uncover to see if we need to get a, a specialist involved, whether it's a roof or foundation or AC or electrical or plumbing, etc. cetera, uh, if we need to get those specialists done. This, this timeline that we have to do our inspections typically is anywhere from 10 to 14 calendar days, which is negotiated in the contract. So we get the home inspection done at the very beginning. Should we need to get a specialist involved, we get those towards the end and get bids on the things that need to be repaired. Uh, once we get this, uh, once we get the specialist bids, whether that's AC, foundation, whatever, uh, we would submit these over to the sellers to get uh, to get fixed. So one of three things will end up happening: either A, we'll have the seller come off the sale of the price or uh, the house price, or B, we can get cash in lieu of repairs uh, in the form of closing costs, or C, we'll get them to fix the problem. Now that we've got a specialist with uh, with bids that are set up, we now have a concrete number other than a, an arbitrary number that's set up by inspectors. So holds a little bit more weight. Once we submit this over to the seller, they have 72 hours to decide whether or not they'll do some, none, or all the repairs. If they agree to do everything, we'll go ahead and proceed with the financing. If they agree to do some or none, you in turn as the buyer have 72 hours to decide whether or not to do, uh, you're going to accept, reject, or counter. The clock resets the 72 hour clock resets until we can either get into an agreement or the contract falls apart the buyer gets our deposit back and either proceeds to look for another house or you know the deal's dead um, thanks again for watching if you have any questions about home inspections or any part of the real estate buying process we'd love to hear from you give us a call 267-4099 or shoot us an email and we'll see you next time thanks so much